Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you here on a Tuesday, getting towards the end of the month, right? Uh, 29 September. Calendar's a little more full today. Got a lot of uh, speakers from the FOMC. Williams, Harker, Clarida, Quarles, uh, all speaking back end of today. This morning we have, uh, we got a little bit of UK bullshit, net lending, Italian bond auction. That'll be worth watching, the Italian bond auction. Um, but speakers at the back end today uh, from the FOMC, so we are kind of keep a quiet eye on that um, while we monitor price out here. We've been talking about this now for the last three days. It's time for the euro to turn. Um, now we have a pattern here that a lot of people will be watching. Sort of inverted head and shoulders here. Here's your neckline. 83. Bingo number. Uh, that should be in play at the European Open. Let's see. Cable uh, resolved itself yesterday with higher prices. We shot up to 129.28. Still pretty bid uh, here at 128.55. Should be support first time down 128. The figure, uh, which was sort of the resolution point yesterday. Dollar Swiss tickles lower. Uh, are we back on track for weaker? weaker dollar uh, I think we just might be so this is the way we're going to play it today dollar yen is resisting dollar yen's like hemorrhoids really is just a pain in the ass um, not really doing much but yet resisting 34 the low uh, in Asia 20 we've been talking about 105.20 I feel like I've been talking about 105.20 for weeks but it's really only been sort of been four trading days um, this also needs to resolve itself soon. Uh, top side resolution, which we don't, uh, it's not our favorite side, will be 70. Downside will either be this neckline here or 105.20. Dollars are just dancing above uh, 17 to figure. If Euro does pop today, this should ease back down, uh, especially with stocks up a good 5% now in the last three days. Uh, you'd probably be able to pick some of this stuff up in the 90s. Uh, we still do favor the long side. Max, same but different. Better food in Mexico than South Africa, but... sort of the same as far as uh, currency weakness and trend sideways up here gets really more interesting only above 23 and a quarter no dog uh, fighting in the dollar max uh, in the dollar max fight right now just watching Aussie's doing nothing sort of dancing around here around these lows this can easily go up to 71.18 but pretty meaningless uh, price action down here Euro Aussie real interesting high there at 165.88 this is something for the book uh, keep an eye on this level going forward 165.88 Very important that we'll, we'll probably need risk off for that to come into play, but that's a very nice chart point. Dollar CAD also just doing nothing similar to the Aussie. I would uh, describe it as sort of dicking around, um, whistling by the graveyard. FX fall in general has been pretty shitty. Uh, so let's just keep that in mind. Let's not like try and take blood from a stone. Do like 
tell our CAD to ease lower eventually. I don't know what's going to move it or turn it or, or cause it to go down. We do have Canadian some releases today. What is IPPI or RMPI? Sounds like some inflationary numbers out of Canada today. Um, I've never really seen them uh, described in those acronyms, but it looks like they're inflationary numbers out of Canada today. Maybe that moves it. I doubt it. Uh, this will probably only get moved when Euro dollar gets moving. Uh, which is probably going to be today. Gold, just poorly, poorly done yesterday. We opened the day. Um, I'm embarrassed to say we opened the day long at 53. Um, and we ended up not making any money on gold yesterday. In fact, some red ink on the pad long all day just botched it this bar was really the killer up to 81 back down to 68 what a dick suck that was anyway gold's through gold looks uh, bullish now gold's gonna crawl crawl higher now we think so as gold crawls higher, this sort of opens things up for the rest of the dollar. And um, Shitty trading aside yesterday, you got this bullish engulfing bar. You got to close above our bingo number. It's already been up to 92 today. Will this thing trade down to 77 at some point today? Probably. And that might be if you want to soak up some gold, that might be your point. This uh, chart is a bit of a conundrum, right? I mean, 5% from these uh, 32, uh, 3200 lows, pretty straight line, 5%. Here we are. This chart's delayed. It's 59 a quarter right now. Uh, so we made a new little high here even should be some resistance um, you got these highs up here 63 64 um, but 74 is really the what we think will be the stretch high and probably a decent place to sell going into um, Trump versus Biden tonight should be some ball there ZB also just doing nothing resisting I mean it's been 14 days now, two weeks of absolutely nothing, 176, 177. We quietly just sell high ones every day, scoop some back, not really making any money, um, you know, any real money to speak of, but keeps us involved with the price action. We're waiting for this to uh, resolve itself lower. Bitcoin also not doing a hell whole of a lot hell whole hell of a lot on the wide here we've been sort of eleven thousand ten thousand um, for a month crude no idea literally no idea uh, BTP auction today so we'll be watching this uh, we do we are short BTPs as we tend as we're prone to be from time to time. Um, keep an eye on that auction today. We'll see what happens. Basically, we're looking at our main focus is going to be on euro today. Up through one sixteen eighty three becomes very interesting. Try and maybe scoop up some gold um, if we can shake off yesterday's uh, poor trading on the gold side. And we wait and see what these FOMC clowns have to say later in the day. That starts sort of like from 3 p.m. towards 9 p.m. It's like a festival of FOMC people. Sandwiched in between that, we do have um, trade balance in the U.S., which was going to be hysterically bad. 
maybe up into the eighty billion dollar zone. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I wish you good luck out there, and I will see you. Uh, God knows when will I see? Oh yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.